Hi, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you are welcome to the short word for today's audio daily devotion. This is an audio narration of the written short word for today's daily devotion published every day and sent to our subscribers. One word from God can do more than a million human words to relieve a distressed soul. We are not here today by accident. God has predestined you and he has a word for you. The foundation of the sure word for today is Luke chapter 4 verses 18 and 19, quoting from the King James Version. Quote, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the broken hearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord." Unquote. You can help spread the faith by subscribing to our YouTube channel and sharing the link with your friends and loved ones. If you have not already subscribed, please do so and click the bell icon so you can receive instant notification anytime we publish a new series. Thank you and God bless you. The affirmation for this week's short word for today, I recognize and take advantage of each opportunity. The short word for today devotion is a reading of the short word for today's devotion published every day on our website. You can visit our website for more resources. If you want to send in your prayer requests, feel free as you take the time to fill out the prayer request form on our home page at www.theshoreword.com org.uk Welcome to the reading of the Word of God from the sure word for today. The sure word for today is the abundance of the free favor of the Lord. This week's title for the sure word for today's series is Making the Very Most of Your Time, Part 1 of 7. All Bible quotations are from the King James Version unless otherwise stated. This week's Bible verse is from the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 16, reading from the Amplified Version. Here is the Bible verse quote. Making the very most of your time on earth, recognizing and taking advantage of each opportunity and using it with wisdom and diligence, because the days are filled with evil. Unquote. The most significant advantages of time management are that it allows you to be more efficient by controlling how you spend your time. You can focus better on important tasks and better focus leads to better efficiency. Last week, I looked at the scriptural verse in the Amplified Version and verse 16 resonated in my mind. It created such a huge impression. I am amazed by it. The memory verse reveals the importance of time management. Even God manages his time. You can see how God effectively managed his time when he was recreating the earth in the book of Genesis chapter 1. Everything that was created was not created at the same time. They were not created on the same day. They all have a start and a finish time, day and date. God employed project management techniques to manage his time effectively. He divided his activities into several tasks and had a timeline to complete the tasks. A project is a temporary endeavor undertaken to create a unique product, service or result. A project is temporary in that it has a defined beginning and end. It has defined scope and resources. Before starting a project, you estimate the duration based on the tax gathered during the requirement elicitation process. Duration is the total time it takes to complete a project measured in workdays, hours or weeks. The duration depends on the availability and capacity of resources. The effort is the number of people, hours needed to complete a task. It is the actual time that is spent on 
working on the project. God first created the morning and evening that resulted in the day. He had a prescribed task every day until he recreated the earth and on the sixth day he created man when the earth was ready to supply man's needs. God started the first project in the universe. Every activity in your life should be handled with a project planning mindset to manage your time effectively. Life is one big project. The trick is in managing it. We have reached the end of part one of the Sure Word audio devotion series titled Making the Very Most of Your Time. We are getting ready to read God's Word, the Sure Word capsule. I would like you to read this at least once, twice, or three times a day. Whatever you are going through, this word will help you. If you start with me and repeat every word that I read, you'll be blessed. To not leave gaps in this recording, I will join you to repeat the short word capsule. Please read after me. This year is going to be an incredible year for me. This year is going to be an incredible year for me. This year, my dreams are coming true. This year, my dreams are coming true. I started the year and will continue every day. I started the year and will continue every day. Sending and receiving peace and love. Sending and receiving peace and love. A tremendous, productive and successful time is starting now. A tremendous, productive and successful time is starting now. I choose to be happy every day of this year. I choose to be happy every day of this year. Day by day, my financial condition is improving. Day by day, my financial condition is improving. I have a great job with good pay. I have a great job with good pay. I have a fantastic product that will generate a tremendous amount of money. I have a fantastic product that will generate a tremendous amount of money. I have now all the money I need. I have now all the money I need. Money is flowing now to my bank account from various sources. Money is flowing now to my bank account from various sources. Everything I do turns into success. Everything I do turns into success. Everything in my life is improving. Everything in my life is improving. I know I can achieve anything I want in life. I know I can achieve anything I want in life. Prosperity flows to and through me. Prosperity flows to and through me. I will succeed by attracting people who can help me. I will succeed by attracting people who can help me. My actions create constant wealth, prosperity, and abundance. My actions create constant wealth, prosperity, and abundance. I am happy with who I am and can be. I am happy with who I am and can be. Today, I will bid farewell to old habits and welcome a positive change in my life. Today, I will bid farewell to old habits and welcome a positive change in my life. I am the architect of my faith. I am the architect of my faith. I can achieve what I have dreamt for myself. I can achieve what I have dreamt for myself. I feel healthy and full of energy. I feel healthy and full of energy. Every day of my life is full of happiness and joy. Every day of my life is full of happiness and joy. Day by day, more and more sunshine is filling my life. Day by day, more and more sunshine is filling my life. I make plans, visualize my goals and move towards accomplishing them. I make plans, visualize my goals and move towards accomplishing them. I am worthy of having a healthy body. I am worthy of having a healthy body. 
My body is perfect just as it is. My body is perfect just as it is. Investing in my health is one of the best investments I can make. Investing in my health is one of the best investments I can make. I trust my body to tell me what it needs. I trust my body to tell me what it needs. I listen to my body's intuition. I listen to my body's intuition. I make time to tend to and care for my body. I make time to tend to and care for my body. I oversee my health. I oversee my health. My body is powerful. My body is powerful. I appreciate my body for all it does for me each day. I appreciate my body for all it does for me each day. I choose to prioritize my mental and physical health. I choose to prioritize my mental and physical health. I awaken each day feeling refreshed and energized. I awaken each day feeling refreshed and energized. I am healthy, happy and whole. I am healthy, happy and whole. May these words of my mouth, may these words of my mouth, and this meditation of my heart, and this meditation of my heart, be pleasing in your sight, Lord. Be pleasing in your sight, Lord. My rock and my redeemer. My rock and my redeemer. Amen. Amen. We have reached the end of the Sure Word Audio Devotion and the Declaration of the Sure Word Capsule. Please visit www.thesureword.org.uk for more capsules tailored to meet your specific needs. You can also put a request for a capsule to be created for any challenge you are having. Thank you for listening and confessing along. Please, don't forget to share this audio devotion. I will also love it if you can subscribe and click the bell icon so you can get the notification anytime we post a new audio devotion. Have a gorgeous day and may God continue to bless you, enlarge your coast and increase your substance. Amen.